Let's start with a very simple model, one that you are probably familiar with. This custom model has only one component and generates the phrase, Hello World. Our custom model contains the required project driver file, C++ file, a header file, and a make file. All SST components are written in C++. When we run SST, we pass in a project driver file. This file sets up the components and links providing the composition of our simulation. We'll look at the project driver file first. In the first line, we're creating our component object. Then we're configuring it to repeat five times. Let's switch over and look at the header file for this component. The Hello World header file defines required functions for SST and a clock handler. It also registers information about the component with SST. Here are the constructor and destructor for the Hello component and the setup and finish, which are required by SST. We also have a handler for the clock tick function, which generates Hello World. As we scroll down, SST ELI register component registers the component information with SST. Underneath, we have the class we're registering. Notice there are no quotes, so it's just the class. Below that, we have the element library name. Exercise a hello and the component we are registering, hello. We also have a version number, a description, and a category for the component. Moving down the screen, SST ELI document params registers the parameters that our component uses. For this model, we only have one param. We have the name of the param, a description, and a user-specified example value of 10. The default value is in the C++ file that we'll review in a moment. At the bottom are some private variables that we'll be using within the component. The first is used to output to the screen. The other two include the maximum number of repetitions to include in the simulation, as well as the number of repetitions we've already produced. Now, if we go to the model, we'll see how all of this is implemented. Here we get the parameters from our project driver file. We take the repeats parameter, and that becomes the maximum times we're going to repeat. This portion makes the simulation print off a message showing how many times we have the model set to repeat. The next line registers a clock. When setting up a clock, a frequency is required. For this example, our frequency is hard-coded. Later, we'll look at an example where the value can be changed. Our value is set at 100 MHz. That's an arbitrary value. And here, we are telling it to run this clock tick function on every single clock tick. At the end, we are registering this component as a primary component, and we're telling SST not to end the simulation yet. The component will tell the simulation to end once it has repeated the hello world however many times it was configured to repeat. As we continue down, we see the clock handler. With every tick of the clock, we generate Hello World. We increment the count of how many times we have repeated. Once we hit the maximum number of repeats, the simulation ends. So, let's see this model in action. To run the simulation, we'll run sstestshello.py. We see it produces Hello World five times, because that was our parameter in the project driver file. If we decided we wanted to have it repeat Hello World three times, we can go back to the project driver file and change the parameter to three, save it, and rerun the simulation. And we see that it produces Hello World three times. This is the simplest model you can have in SST, a model with a single component. Take a few minutes, adjust the parameter yourself, and check out the results. If you don't have SST yet, Check out the Get SST section.